Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I am gonna show you how to add the options menu. So we'll be able to change few settings. For example we can change the volume. Also we could change the quality of the game. We can make it medium or high. And we have this full screen toggle. So we can switch to the full screen mode. So before we get started make sure to watch my previous video about the start menu. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss my next videos. And let's jump right into it. As you can see this is what we left off from the previous video. We've created this simple main menu and we've added the options panel. So let's go ahead and hide the main menu and enable the options panel so that we can add few UI elements. I'm going to show you how to add a toggle, a drop down and a slider. Then I'm going to show you how to add the functionalities and make them affect the game settings. So first of all, let's create the toggle uh, box under the options panel. Let's right click UI and let's use a toggle and let's call it full screen toggle. And it's a little bit small, so I'm going to change the scale to 2. Then let's move it to this side. Using Shift Alt, I'm going to select the top left corner. And let's change the X position to 50. And the Y position to minus 150. And let's change this text. I'm going to change it to full screen. And let's change the color as well. So let's change it to a red color. For now, when we click on this box, it's not going to affect the game. We're going to add the functionality later on. Then let's go ahead and create a drop down to change the quality of the game using right click UI and let's choose a drop down or let's choose this one with the text mesh pro. And the same thing, let's move it using shift alt. I'm going to select this option. I'm going to change the X position to 50 and the Y position to minus 250 and let's change the scale as well to 2 to make it a little bit big and under here we can change the options for now it's called option A, B and C so let's change it to low, medium and high so by default let's make it high by changing this value so if it's 0 it's gonna choose low and if we change it to 2 as you can see we have this text high you could add more options, but I've added these three. You could go to edit and under the project settings, we have this quality. And as you can see, we have three levels, low, medium and high. And by default, it's high. That's why I've changed this value to two. But you could also add more quality levels as well. So let's leave it as default. Now let's go ahead and add the slider as well using right click UI and let's use a slider. I'm going to call it volume slider and let's move it under this drop down using shift alt then let's change the X position to 50 and the Y position to uh, minus 400 and let's change the width to uh, 230 and the height to 50 we could also change the background color or the fill color from here so I'm going to leave the background color as it is but let's change the fill color to another one so I'm gonna choose a yellow color you don't see that because we have the value 0 so when we change this value we have our slider also I want to remove this handle also make sure to change this one to 5 so when you make it as a maximum value as you can see we have this space in order to fix that let's go ahead and change this to 5 as well so down here we can change few settings for example let's go ahead and change the transition to none we don't need that also we can change the minimum and the maximum value basically we need to change it to uh, minus 80 and the max value is 0 so later on I'm gonna show you why I have changed these values between 0 and minus 80 after that let's go ahead and add some kind of text like volume using right click UI and let's use a text mesh pro I'm gonna change the text to volume then let's move it up a bit by changing the Y position to 50 
we can make it bold if you want and once you've added all of the UI elements now we need to add the functionality because if you hit this play button and if you try to change the volume or the quality it's not gonna affect the game so we need to create the functionalities in another script and to do that first of all we need to create a c-sharp script under the scripts folder let's right click create c-sharp script and let's call it settings menu then let's open it up in visual studio so first of all let's delete these two methods and let's create a public so that we can access it from the UI elements void and let's start with the full screen toggle I'm gonna create a function and let's call it set full screen and it's gonna take a boolean and let's call it is full screen so in order to toggle the full screen mode it's very simple we can use screen dot full screen equals the boolean is full screen basically we'll use this function as a dynamic function that means whenever we hit that box it's gonna set this boolean so for example if we check the toggle box it's gonna set the boolean is full screen to true and then it's gonna call this line of code so it will set the screen dot full screen to true as well and in order to do that it's very simple we just need to add the function under this full screen toggle down here but first of all we need to attach the script to an empty game object under our menu so let's right click create empty and let's call it settings menu then let's drag in the settings menu script and let's use the function under this on value change hit this plus icon then drag in the settings menu and under the settings menu we have the function set full screen but we have also this one which is dynamic boolean make sure to select that so whenever we hit this toggle it's gonna call the function and set the boolean to true if the box is checked now let's move to the next option which is the quality of the game the same thing let's go over here and declare another function using public void and let's call it set quality and the same thing it's gonna take a dynamic variable int so if it's zero then it means low one is medium and two is high so let's call it quality index so whenever we select an option from the drop down this function will be called and set this quality index and to change the quality of the game we can use quality settings dot set quality level and let's pass in the index using the quality index variable let's save the script and the same thing select the drop down and under here let's hit this plus icon then drag in the settings menu and let's select the function under the settings menu script the same thing we have this dynamic int make sure to select the set quality function and to check that this function is working let's go to edit project settings and under this quality let's go ahead and move it to this side then let's hit play so by default it's high and if we change it to medium as you can see now it's set to medium and the same thing if we set it to low and it's working for the full screen option it's not gonna work unless you build the game now let's move to the next part we will be able to change the volume of the music or the sounds of the game but first of all let's add an audio or some kind of uh, menu theme basically I have this theme I'm gonna drag it under my assets and let's put it under the audio folder and in order to play it in our main menu let's select the canvas so I'm gonna close this tab and under the inspector when we drag in this menu theme under this canvas unity will create this audio source uh, component we have the audio clip which is the main theme and also we have this output so we are going to use this audio mixer to change the volume for now if we hit play we can change the volume using this slider we are going to use the audio mixer so to do that first of all we need to create an audio mixer component under the assets folder let's right click create audio mixer and let's call it main mixer then let's double click on it and that's going to open up the audio mixer window I'm gonna move it over here basically we can change the volume of the sounds 
by changing this uh, slider and as you can see the value is between 0 and minus 80 that's why I have changed the slider minimum value to minus 80 and the maximum value to 0 basically we'll create a function to change the uh, volume of this master audio mixer but first of all we need to tell this audio source to use our main mixer volume so make sure to select the audio mixer group which is the master under our main mixer now if we change the volume from here it's gonna change the audio source volume as well and to do that first of all we need to make sure that we can edit the volume make sure to select this master and over here in order to be able to change the volume make sure to right click and click on this expose volume and that's going to create an exposed parameter by default it's called my exposed param and it's the volume so let's go ahead and give it another name because we are going to use that later on so let's call it volume now let's go back to the c-sharp script and let's create a function I'm gonna create it over here using public void and let's call it set volume so this one is gonna be called whenever we change the slider value and the same thing it's gonna take a dynamic uh, variable and the type is a float and let's call it volume then we can change the audio mixer volume to this value but first of all we need to add a reference to the audio mixer and to do that we need to use the namespace unity engine dot audio then we can declare the audio mixer variable using public audio mixer and let's call it main mixer as well we are going to reference that from the inspector and then to change the volume let's use main mixer dot set float the first parameter is the name of the parameter which is volume and then we can set the value to the volume uh, float so make sure to copy the same volume string which is this one now let's go ahead and use the function and to do that let's select the slider and down here under the on value changed whenever we change the value of the slider let's call the function under our settings menu and we have the function which is called set volume and don't forget to reference the audio mixer under our settings menu make sure to drag in the main mixer under this audio mixer variable now let's hit play and as you can see I can change the volume using this slider so it's working now let's go ahead and build the game to check if the full screen toggle is working let's go to file build settings make sure that all of your scenes are under this uh, area then let's build the game using this build button I'm gonna put it under my desktop and let's create a new folder I'm gonna call it test and let's select the folder so it's gonna take a little bit of time for the first time so be patient and there you go we've created a simple options menu with a few settings so we can adjust the volume of the game also we could change the quality like low, medium or high and we can toggle the full screen mode so we can switch to the full screen mode using this toggle so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss my next videos and I will see you in the next one